hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a everyday makeup tutorial and i did one of these a really long time ago but i was a little more like glam then than i am now i don't know i'm kind of lazy now so my makeup tutorial or my makeup every day has changed significantly so this is my current look which i like to call trying but not trying because I, it takes a lot of time, but it doesn't really look like I've done much. So this is what I do every single day. It's very simple, very easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Like anyone that's watching can do it. I'm also going to be answering, I put an Instagram question up for y'all to leave your assumptions about me. And I answered those during this video, which y'all have a lot of interesting assumptions. So I'll be answering those and doing my makeup at the same time, which I found out during the process, I'm very bad at multitasking because I can't talk and do any of this at the same time. So I'm really sorry about that, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get it. Okay. So first of all, I'm very pale right now. Um, we're not gonna discuss that situation. It's a different thing. Also, I'm a little bit brunette. That happened recently. Um, anyway, we're just gonna get started here. Oh, and um, I'm obviously doing the questions at the same time. So, yay. If you only wanted the makeup part of this and you didn't want the assumptions part of this, I'm so sorry, um, but you get both. So, here we go. So to start off with, I already moisturized my face. I use the Clinique, um, it's yellow. I don't know what it's called. I will link it down in the description because I don't know. Um, but the first thing I do is I have been using this new foundation. It's the Dior Forever Perfect Makeup Everlasting Wear Pore Refining Effect with Sunscreen <sighs> Broad Spectrum Foundation in shade 14. Yes. So what I do with that is I pump like, can you see what's going on here? Like three pumps got a lot to cover up um on my hand and then I just take like my finger like this and then I can't see honestly anything I just kind of like dab it all over my face mm-hmm mm-hmm like that um you look a little interesting until it's done but the finished product is great I also don't really I didn't think this through I usually have a towel or something to get the excess off my hands so okay well you know, you live and you learn. So I've done that and now I'm just gonna blend that out. So one of the first questions I got, well actually the first question I got or assumption, which I was like, wow, we are starting this off with a bang, was someone said that I've always been spoiled was their assumption. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna get into that. So have I always been spoiled? Honestly, like I would say yes, um, I'm very self-aware. I have always gotten like um, everything I've needed in life and um, my parents have always like gotten me anything I really ever wanted or needed. Um, and I'm not trying to sound conceited or sound like, oh, look at me in my life. I'm just being honest with you. Like we never went without, um, my parents worked so, so, so hard for ever and ever and ever so they could provide for me. Um, and so I did have almost everything growing up, which I am eternally obviously thankful for. And I told them that all the time and I still do. Um, and one big thing about that though, is that my parents, I don't know, obviously a lot of you probably don't know me, but for people that do know me that have met my parents, you will know that they are some of the most giving people in the entire world. And they're some of the kindest people in the entire world. And I'm not only saying that because they're my parents also like, I mean, a ton of people have told me this too. Um, so I grew up getting and having everything I needed, but I also grew up knowing that for everything you get, you need to give back to. So it wasn't like I grew up getting the things I did and just thinking like, oh, everyone's life is like this and everything's a fairy tale all the time. And like, I'm just gonna spend all my money on me always and not care about other people and not think about what other people are going through. Like, no, that's not how I was raised. Um, we were very fortunate and my dad worked like 70 hour weeks forever and ever and ever. Um, now he has his own company, so he doesn't have to work 70 hour weeks anymore, but he worked that many hours for that long so that we could be where we are today. And so, yes, I would say, yes, I grew up spoiled. I am not going to lie about that. But at the same time, I grew up in a family that taught me the importance of giving back and that didn't try and pretend like that was all there ever was or that material things are the only thing that is important. 
I hope that if you guys have seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I don't think like that. <laughs> Honestly, a lot of the shopping for me is like the experience with my mom or whoever I go with. It's not so much getting the things that I do. I mean, obviously I like the things I have, but for me, a lot of it is the experience and like that's how I bond with my mom and like also my sister-in-law and stuff like that. So yeah, um, so that's the first one. And the first step, that took so long. I'm sorry, this is gonna be such a lengthy video. I just realized that. Um, second step is, I've been recently using this new concealer and it's the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer in the shade 10 or Fair. And for this, I just take it and kind of, I've been looking at this mirror, which if that's why I'm looking down. Um, I just kind of like dot it where I need it. So I dot it underneath my eyes. And then in a few little places, aka my whole face that is breaking out right now. I don't really know what's going on here, but whatever. That's why we have concealer, honestly, right? Like I know I'm going a little overboard here, but I'm just being real with you guys. This is what happens on a daily basis. Um, yeah. So then I'm just gonna use the same beauty blender that I used for the first one and blend all that in and also go to the next question. Um the next one, or not the next question, the next assumption, and I'm like, don't take offense to these, so if some of these sound kind of rude, honestly, I'm not like taking offense to this, so if you submitted it, I'm not like mad at you or whatever. Um, someone said that their assumption is that I am actually a mean girl. Wow, honestly, <laughs> I hope that that's not the impression I give off on this channel, because I really try not to. I mean, because I don't think that that is what I would consider my personality to be. I would like to think that I'm not mean. However, I've been told before that I have really bad, like, resting, I'm gonna refrain from using that word, but resting mean girl face. And I do think that that's accurate. I felt like all through high school when I was overweight, I had to defend myself kind of against criticism and people. So that was just kind of the facial expression slash like personality that I adopted was that I had to defend myself all the time. And so if I give off that vibe ever, it is not on purpose because I actually, usually get along pretty well with people as long as they're not like i mean crazy i don't know i get along with most people um but i do unintentionally give off possibly a not so welcoming vibe sometimes but that's just because that's how i kind of always have been i just feel like i have to protect myself against people because i did always think i was going to get bullied like throughout high school i don't I didn't really get bullied. I mean, people obviously say stuff to people that are overweight. It just happens no matter where you're at. You're never kind of safe from it, unfortunately. It's the world we live in. So people said things and I just kind of put up walls. And one of those things is that I didn't always look the kindest. So I would not consider myself mean. I don't know, you'll have to ask my friends or other people that, but I try really hard. My mom is like the nicest person I'll ever meet in your entire life. And I try to be like her. I don't think I'll ever be able to be like her. She's just unreal and so is my dad but my mom is very into like being kind to people my dad's really into like giving back so them together i don't know if i could ever live up to that but i really try to be nice to people and to be kind to people um and if for some reason i don't think i'm gonna be able to i just try not to say anything at all so because it's better than being rude so i just did the concealer as you can see i'm so pale i'm so sorry honestly it is what it is. And the next thing I'm using is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in this little like travel slash mini size. And I am using, hmm, I'm gonna use something different. I'm gonna use my, I kind of switch back and forth between this brush and this one from MAC. This, I don't even know what it is. Like <laughs> it's been through everything. This one is the It Brushes for Ulta and it's the number 127 airbrush mega powder. So I take that and I dust that all over my face just to kind of set my face because I'm done doing all the liquid type stuff. So when I am now going to powder, I'm obviously gonna be putting powder on top of this. So um, I'm gonna just kind of dab this in here. This gets everywhere by the way. So for people that use this and it doesn't get everywhere, I don't really know and tell me your secrets, please. <laughs> Such flattering angle. So I just kind of like, Stipple that in slash brush it around. I'm not a makeup guru if you can't, if you haven't noticed that this far into the video, now is your time, I'm telling you. So, okay, go to that. Uh, yep. And 
I look even more pale. I have self tan on right now, <laughs> honestly. So got that. And there's a bunch of extra powder over here. So sorry. The next assumption was that I'm obsessed with my sorority. I obviously I was in a sorority. I have a lot of videos about that. I would say that at the time I was very obsessed with my sorority. Now I obviously have different priorities. One of them is using this Bobbi Brown bronzing powder to sculpt out my cheekbones, which is what I'll be doing next, not really. Um, but I was in love with my sorority. I was obsessed with my sorority all of my college life. I was mostly friends with the girls that were in my sorority. So that is true. I am not that into it anymore, obviously. A lot of people graduate and they're still in it. Like as an alumni, they kind of go back and do a bunch of stuff, but I just, I'm not, I'm busy and antisocial, so yeah so now what i'm gonna do is i just kind of go along where my cheek goes um and i'm using this i'm so bad at this brush from bh cosmetics looks like it says it's a number three i don't know i don't know but it's a contour brush it's like angled and i just kind of go for it you see what i'm saying here there you go you hear that heavy side, it's Bennett, because he's tired of being in here, but, you know. I also do that on both cheeks. This is so glamorous. Um, yeah, so, there, see, so we just have a little more sculpting going on. It just warms up the face. I'm not great at this. So please don't come at me. I know that this is not beautiful technique. I'm doing what I always do. This is my everyday makeup tutorial and this is what I got. So I also take this around my Caroline places where I would be tan if I naturally tanned, but I don't. So, um, I just kind of, you know, swizzle that around like that. I put it up into my hairline a little bit because I didn't used to do that and there used to be like a white line. <laughs> that was really interesting. So, and then I also take this and I go along my nose a little bit. I'm not really like a contouring of the nose person because I don't know how and I don't, <laughs> that's it, I don't know how. So I kind of put a little bit on the sides, Good. and on the bottom. And then someone told me if you put a little bit on the bridge of your nose, it apparently makes it look smaller. Although right now I just made it look 30 times bigger. So I usually just kind of like like that. I didn't do anything, but I just kind of go over all of it again until I feel like it's at the desired darkness, which is usually much darker than my actual skin. And if you see me outside in the daylight, don't comment on that. <laughs> but so after that, I'm going to be using this, which is, it is, do you see that? This is all over me. This is what happens. This is why I don't wear nice things. Um, when I'm doing my makeup or whatever. So this is a Marc Jacobs blush in the color Kink and Kisses. Yikes. Um, and it looks like this. Super cute. I actually just got this recently. I used to use this brush from Mac or this blush from Mac that I was using for all of my adult life. I don't even know what kind it was anymore. It just had lasted that long and it was probably disgusting, but I still just used it because I don't know. Um, and then I'm using this BH Cosmetics blush brush. I don't know if that's what it's for, but that's what I use it for. And it's a number one. And I just kind of like boop, 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 dab it in there and then put it on my cheeks. Next assumption, I keep forgetting about this, is that I miss college. Yes, I do miss college. The entire time, as my parents throughout college, I was like, I hate this. I'm dying. I'm failing. I'm dropping out. I'm going to fashion school. <laughs> LOL. And now I'm out of college and I have never missed anything more. Hence why I'm trying to go back to grad school because it was so fun and amazing and you never get those kind of experiences again. You will never be that close to that many people your age. And it is so fun. Yes, it's hard. College is hard. Don't get me wrong. It's interesting, but the real world is significantly more boring. So enjoy college while you're there. So then I'm gonna take this blush and just kind of like pop it on my cheeks. Boop, boop, look up. Do I make these noises while I'm doing my makeup in the morning also? Yes. So I was trying to make this realistic. I'm just really not filtering anything out here. And I do that on both sides. I don't know why I have to say that. Obviously I do it on both sides. Um, yep. 
So now we got that. Then I take this Mac brush that we were talking about earlier and I just kind of fluff everything around and try and make it so that there's no harsh lines. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder because I'm essentially doing this blind other than this little thing and it's not very helpful. So sorry about that. I just kind of rub it all together so that I don't look crazy. Ooh, there we go. I'm so pale. Yikes. Okay, so next is that I'm an only child. Yes. Okay, so no. Well, yes, but no. I have a half brother who I work with and lives here also and a sister-in-law, which that's not, I mean, I just decided, you know, mention her too because she's great. But I have a half brother and a sister-in-law and then I am an only child essentially because like, I grew up alone other than my brother lived with us on and off throughout his life. But mostly I grew up with just my parents. So I am and I am not if that's helpful at all. But I think that's probably why I grew up so close to my parents is because it was always just kind of the three of us throughout everything. So I am like best friends with my parents. I would choose to spend time with them over literally anyone else. So which that's not supposed to be offensive, but I just would. And so I don't know if I would have been that way if I wasn't an only child. So I really appreciate it. But also like I would have also probably loved having siblings. I have no idea. It is what it is. So now I'm going to be doing my eyebrows and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade like everyone else in the shade chocolate. I didn't always use this, but I jumped on the bandwagon and do I think it's any better than any other pomade, AKA $2 ones from the drugstore? No, but I bought it. So I'm using it. Also, if Anastasia Beverly Hills is watching this video, I'm sorry and I love you, please sponsor me. <laughs> but it's really just the same thing in a different package. So I put that on this little brush that's covered in hair and this one's from e.l.f. and it's the Eyebrow Duo Brush. I go through these things a lot. I don't know why I always like smash the end by accident and then I have to get a new one. So I have pretty decent eyebrows already which was a pain in high school because they were always so full and I looked like a psycho. But now that I have them more under control, they're kind of nice. So I don't really have to do that much to them. I just kind of fill in areas that are a little, you see a fill in here? That are a little sparse. See? Yeah. Woo. Honestly, this takes more time than it should for the fact that my eyebrows already look like they're pretty thick. So I just fill in the areas where they're lacking. And I do it lighter up front, obviously, because I don't want to look blocky. I'm very into like the natural eyebrow thing. I really want my eyebrows to look like they're super done up. So I just fill them in. I do that same thing to the other side. Yep. Super fun. Okay, wait, hold on. Next question. Um, assumption, sorry. Uh, that I was popular in high school. Ha! <laughs> Oh, wow. Honestly, please, if anyone from my high school is watching this, first of all, wow, it's been a while. Second of all, please comment on the fact that this is laughable. Literally, no, I was not popular in high school. So, sorry, this takes so much concentration for the fact that I said that it wasn't that big of a deal. So, no, I was not popular in high school. I had my friends. I had, like, probably four or five really good friends and then two best friends that I did everything in the entire world with. I, we, I mean, I would not consider myself popular whatsoever. I'm not even the kind of girl that was like, I wouldn't consider myself popular when in reality I was. Like, I was not. I didn't talk to anyone because I thought everyone hated me. I, I don't know. So, no, I wasn't. Um, I just had mainly my two friends that I hung out with and did everything with. I'm not friends with either of those people anymore just because life kind of moves you apart. One, I talk to occasionally. Um, cause we were closer to the other one. Like I have no idea what she's doing, but you just kind of grow apart from people. But those were my friends. And then I had a few other friends that I was slightly close to that are off doing other things now because people grow up. So no, I was not up there in high school. <laughs> I don't know what gave you that impression, <laughs> but I mean, I'm flattered, I guess. I don't know. So, but no, I was not. Um, that's it for the impression question. And my eyebrows. So, done at the same time. So that's it for eyebrows. And that's almost it for my face because I just really don't do that much. I just don't, I don't know, I don't feel like it. But the next thing I do, and this is only if I'm feeling real excited, if 
for that day or if I get up early enough, which usually I don't. But if I do, I'll pop in a little bit of eyeshadow, which I'm just not eyeshadow savvy unless I really spend the time on it and then it can look okay, but usually that's not gonna happen. So the eyeshadow palette I've been using is Marc Jacobs. It is the Scandalust palette, iconic palette. And I use the shade That's Why, which is this middle shade right there. And I put it just in the crease. Like, I don't even know why I do this. I don't think it really does that much, but it makes me feel better. I just kind of pop it in there and then blend it until my arm falls off. That's what I've been told to do the other YouTubers. So we got that. This is the BH Cosmetics number six brush. So we're gonna do that on both sides. Ooh, so exciting. Wow. Okay. So, so we got right there. And then last thing I do to my eyes, which this is not what this brush is for, but have I done any of this correctly so far? No. So we're gonna keep on with that trend. This is the number eight BH Cosmetics and I dip it in this little, little miss. Wow. <laughs> um, it's called the little miss shade and it's kind of like a mauve, it's not mauve, what am I talking about? It's like, you can see it, you know. And I take that and I use it as an eyeliner. I'm into the eyeshadow as eyeliner situation because regular eyeliner on me looks really harsh and I'm really not a fan of when people tight line their eyes. I think it looks not good. But, I mean, you do you. So I just brush it on the very outer corners of my eyes. I have some wonky eyelashes right now. So I just kind of put it, like, underneath my lash line right here. Can you see that? Don't look at my face. I'm so sorry. Can you see? So I just kind of... <laughs> do that, and then I do that on top, too. Just on the very outer corner. And this is just to make it look like I'm doing something with myself and I didn't just roll out of bed, even though I did. So that wasn't me doing anything, I was just fixing my eyelashes. So, yeah. So that is the last step for my eyeballs, minus mascara, which I don't usually put any on because um, I have eyelash extensions. So if I do put any on, it's only on the bottom and I usually don't because I don't really feel like it most of the time. And that's... That's that. So I'm not going to actually right now. Well, I guess I will, but I actually am making this at nighttime. So I'm just gonna go take all this off and go to bed after this, but yeah. So um, I sold this for my mom and it is the five in one volumizing mascara from It Cosmetics, I think. Hello Lashes, here we go. I don't know what's in there. Can you hear that? Hold on, someone tell me. So we're just gonna take that and Kind of brush it on these lower lashes. I usually get this all over everything, so pray for me. Um, yikes! Yikes! Don't look at my face. Wow. Oh, wow. What if I filmed the whole tutorial with this thing over my camera? Honestly, I probably would. Okay. I have any lipstick in here. Cause I usually keep any kind of lip product that I will be using in the car because I'm usually running late. And so I'm like, I'll do it in the car. But, um, let's see. Yep, we don't got anything in here. So I'm gonna look like really dead lip wise. But I usually use, it's the Kiehl's, I don't know if that's how you say it. It's a tinted lip balm. And I think it's in the shade Nude. It's kind of peachy pink. I really should go get it, but I'm not going to. So. Um, but I love it and it's very cute and I usually do that so that I don't look dead because if I do my makeup and then don't put anything on my lips, I look kind of dead. So that's how we're going to end this. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I obviously did not have that many people post assumptions. People don't like to answer my Instagram polls or questions and that's fine, but anyway. So thank you for watching. This is what I do every single day. This is my everyday makeup tutorial. Very simple, doesn't take a lot of skill or literally none, basically. And it looks very natural because that's what I'm usually going for. So, 
thank you so much for watching please come back soon i think i'm gonna be doing be doing another unboxing video soon because y'all apparently like those and i think they're fun to make but i also don't want to do too many of them in a row and everyone be like we don't care what you're saying so i'm trying to space them out but i'll be doing one of those soon and i really get, hope that you guys come back and watch that and that you please comment and like and subscribe i literally try to reply back to every comment because i love you guys and it makes my day every time someone comments which is happening more and more lately and i love it and i'm so excited um yeah that's all i got so bye